Hello, welcome to the crafting table. We're back in Silver Run Forest here, and as you can see from the date, I did quite a bit of work. So we've got three of each type of uh, roll from the paper mill. We've got three prefab walls and just a bunch of different goods, bathtub, a uh, bunch of planks, which I'll end up using for like furniture and stuff later, but we've got wood beams, floor tiles, metal, I believe there's, yeah, shingles, buckets, basically everything that we can produce aside from, like, some staircase railing and some bowls and pepper shaker, or pepper, uh, pepper grinders. We've got a bunch of stuff here. So we're going to go ahead and get that sold off to Elm, Elm Creek. Is it Elm Creek? I'm going to call it Elm Creek and it not be that. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is... Yeah, Elm Creek. I thought I thought maybe I was not putting an S in there, like Elm's Creek. So yeah, we're going to get these sold, and we'll see what kind of profits we get from it. And we'll see if we can buy the, the furniture store or the, the furniture manufacturer, factory, whatever you want to call it. Let's see. Oh boy. Look at that. 196000 well, $168,000 with 24000 environmental score reward all right so where where are we yeah because we're gonna need the we're gonna need the furniture factory to get a oh what do you call it tables and chairs and whatnot for the uh, roller coaster and actually let's go ahead and visit the roller coaster right now uh, a bunch of it's finished so as you can see it's been filling in slowly see if we can go ahead and jump over there and check it out. Oh, there we go. So you see they're filling in, filling in the track and the supports. I've got it going all the way around here and going through the rock tunnel here. And yeah, it's just been filling in slowly. I'm building a lot of stuff. Looks like that's just a cross beam. So that's fancy. All right, so um, we do have this stuff over here that we're gonna sell right now. Um, I did. Sorry, I'm saying um so much. I mowed the grass over here, or cut the grass over here. I did do a bit of uh, how do you how do you call it? Some decorating or cosmetic work on the farm. You know, some nice trees and plants and everything. So we are using some of our money to kind of boost the aesthetic of the farm a little bit. But yeah, we're going to have to... Did we mul Did I mulch this already? That's a, that's a good question. Yes, I did. Mulch this already, and I need to... What do you call it? I fertilize it. I need to fertilize it eventually, but we got all this off of it, all this, all these bales of silage that are fermenting right now, and we're going to hold on to those until it's time to sell them. Those will just sit there for the time being. And I took all the different planks and long planks and stuff like that. Everything's no longer set to distribute yet, just because I am getting, I am getting that, uh, thing together. The uh, roller coaster. I can't think of these things. Uh, I think it's... which one is it? I believe it's Sunnyside Cafe is the best spot for these. I have to go all the way down on the list to find it. Let's see. Pepper Grinder. Yeah, Sunnyside Cafe. And the, the bowls. Should be the same thing. 
Should be better at Sunnyside Cafe. Yep. There it is. So that's where we're going to take them. The cafe should be just right here. That should be it right there. If I want to say. Let's go ahead and make sure I don't want to sell it to the wrong place. By accident. Yeah, that's it. I've been here a few times. I don't know why I don't remember. Alright, so let's sell these goods here. Alright, $13,385, $1,947 for the environmental score. So that's... What am I stuck on? Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I don't understand the trailers in this game. The uh, trailers and the palette work is just... Sometimes it can be a bit frustrating. I totally understand that. Uh, once... I think it's the last... The last episode of the... The last episode for January for No Man's Land, you'll see a... <laughs> a few palette mess-ups. It just... They go flying around, and... There's not much you can do about it, except for kind of write it out. The only other thing I can think of is to get an auto-loader mod, but that's no fun. Okay, so, uh, check our production here. We're going to need to get some more iron ore soon. We need more wood at the old sawmill. Yeah, kind of here too. Wood, wood anyway, not, not long planks. Long planks, I'm going to be distributing it on my own distributing it on my own and we definitely need more wood at the paper mill so I'm gonna head over to the old sawmill I'm gonna see what they got ready for me over there if nothing I'll probably head out to the paper mill I'll probably just load up a bunch of logs actually too that's, that's probably a good idea to load up some logs because I do have a lot of wood that I've cut down recently um, but, oh man, first, I can't, can't forget to do this. Where's the, where's the furniture factory? It's right next to the wood turners. We're gonna buy the furniture factory now. Um, we still got a decent amount of money here. Apparently it has metal in it already. I don't know when that happened. Maybe I sold metal to it by accident? I don't know. But we can check the furniture factory... Let's go ahead and check that. I haven't messed with this yet, so we'll see what's going on. So it takes planks and long planks, and it creates furniture for us. Planks and long planks. Yet another planks and long planks thing. Uh, metal, we've got plenty of that. And metal's only used for the armoires. So I think what we should do is we should go see if we're, there's planks and long planks, and we should, we should just fill this thing up, because that's going to be... Uh, some of the stuff for the roller coaster. Yeah, I kind of, uh, I kind of looked ahead to, to see what the, <laughs> what the roller coaster required. Not the amounts, but I saw what what types they were required. So, or what types of products it required. So I'm gonna head do head over do that. Uh, pick up all those planks and long planks and such and we'll be back to see how how much of the production we fill up in the furniture factory see you, see you there in a minute okay we're coming up on the furniture factory now we only had a thousand planks that were ready and unfortunately wood beams aren't used for anything here so we can go ahead and check the production cycles for this one and check off let's see okay so we could do we can do armoires with planks chairs with planks and tables with planks so 
now we just have to let that run its course. I also put down a few generators as well. I put down a couple of wind generators and a large solar panel so we can get a bit of passive income that way we don't go into the red. Uh, the other thing too I wanted to check was the pet factor or the pet goods. 80,000 for that. We could totally buy that and start making like dog houses and stuff. Because if we look at, see, cat trees are worth quite a bit, and that just takes wool and wood of some sort. Uh, dog house as well. That's worth a, a decent amount. The bird house, not so much. But I don't see why not basically try to own every everything here all the means of production so we can make all this stuff and sell it and right now it's looking like long planks are the only <laughs> man it's long long planks seems to be the bottleneck for almost everything let's go ahead and we'll just make these all available now and you know what I am gonna do Uh, okay, not cat trees yet. We don't have any wool. But what I'm going to do is I'm, I am going to set... We're going to go ahead and set this to distributing. And that to distributing. And we'll let that do its thing. Uh, hopefully it starts distributing soon. We're going to have to wait to get wool to put put in for the cat trees. But that's some pretty good... That could be some pretty good money there. We're going we're gonna to set that to distributing because we have a lot of materials already ready for the uh, roller coaster here. So we'll just let it do its thing. Let the uh, construction of it continue for a while, because, I mean, we do have a lot of planks, shingles, staircase railings, wood beams, all the stuff that we need right now that I was able to sell to it. Barrels, metal, all that stuff. Prefab walls. We'll let that continue doing its thing until we see we need more, say, planks or long planks. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drop this little trailer off. <clears throat> Excuse me. Drop this little... Whoa. Almost hit my forklift. Drop that little trailer there. And we'll go ahead and grab... We'll go ahead and start grabbing... Uh, uh-oh. Where did I put my wood trailer? Is it over there? Yes, it is. Okay, so we'll go ahead and grab the forklift, or not the forklift, but the log grabber. What is, what is that thing called? <laughs> the log fork. Um, and we'll start loading up a bunch of these logs to go and sell, or go and put into the production factories that we have. And yeah, I'll uh, go ahead and get this started. So that way we can sell some of this stuff, or get some of this stuff going. I'll see you back in just a bit. Okay, so we just dropped off a load of logs here. And we've got 25, almost 26,000 liters worth of wood in the paper mill right now. We're going to head back, grab some more. Let's see, where do we need them specifically? Let's see, let's see. We 
could use some more at the... Well, actually, no, that one's that one's okay for now. That one's going to be a while before it runs out. Uh, we should probably just keep bringing it over to the old sawmill. That goes through, that goes through wood quite quickly. And we've got all the... Everything except the cat tree is running. Cat tree and the, the fabrics. Um, might eventually actually get some uh, different cotton stuff going to get more fabric going because we're gonna I think we're gonna need quite a bit of fabric for the for the different yachts or the different yacht productions that we can do eventually but we do have this going so that's good um, but as far as where we're gonna take wood next probably the old sawmill so I'm gonna head back I'm gonna do that and we'll see how much how much wood we get to the sawmill and then we'll probably skip the night. We'll probably sleep. So you'll be. I'll see you back in just a bit. Okay, so we're coming up on the old sawmill now. We're going to be selling this, or not selling it, but uh, offloading some logs. We'll see how much we have at the end of it. Let's check this first. Okay, so we're sitting at 57, 018, 0, 018. We're just gonna go ahead and unstrap the logs. I will go check the wood chip pile. Eventually I need to figure out a way to get a big trailer, a big tractor, and a big uh, front loader over here. Because the wood chips are piling up pretty quick, and they're, they're they could be worth quite a bit of money in large amounts. So I think there's somewhere in town. There's a lot of places actually in town that take wood chips. Yeah, lots of places. Um, one of them doesn't matter. I can't sell it to the old sawmill, but it looks like rural farms south is the best price most of the time, but it can get all the way up to about $651 per thousand. So, I mean, that's not a bad, it's not a bad idea to get that going. It's quite a bit of money for something like that. And I think this, I'm pretty sure this is hard difficulty. I can check that really quick. Yeah, it's on hard difficulty, so... Yeah, it's quite a bit. Okay, we might be... Might be done offloading now. Uh, there's a few left, but they're small. They're not going to really make any kind of difference there. That's probably going to be like 10. Oh, that was actually like 100 and something. Or no, it was less than 100 something. I don't know. Maybe. Anyway. So now we're sitting on... 63,000, almost 64,000 liters of wood there. So there's still plenty of room in the old sawmill to drop off more wood, as well as the paper mill and the wood turner. But we're going to get back. It's starting to get a little late in the day. So I might want to get back and go ahead and get to bed. We'll see. In the morning, we'll see where the where the roller coaster sits at, as far as what's completed on it, how much of the stuff's been used, and then we'll probably just call that call that the episode, and we'll we'll go ahead and pick it back up next time with uh, it going into July, July or August, one of the two, probably July, like mid July, July second. I still have quite a few plans for the land we do own. One of the things I want to save up for is one of these, uh... uh let's go ahead and pull over and stop before we start doing that. One of the new forestry machines. Probably one of the older ones. First and foremost. Not these, these are... Wow, those are expensive. Makes sense, though. 
They are... It would be pretty costly. I wonder what, what is this, exactly? Does it pick logs up? Is that all that does? Huh. Oh, I think it's got winches on it in the back, too. Uh, looks like this does that. Yeah, it's just a... This only has 47 horsepower. Really? Holy cow. We'll need a processor head or something. Uh, maybe not that. Probably this Volvo right here, this small Volvo. We'll go with a fast coupler on it. We can probably just take the beacons off. Oh, off? Off it. But we'll probably get the fast coupler Volvo here, as well as... Let's go to the force room, just to explain what I'm going to try and save up for next. Uh, because we need a tree planter. So... So yeah, we, we definitely need to get this tree planter here. So that way we can plant the, the trees I would like to be cutting down, which are those giant, uh, giant redwoods. So that's the plan for that. Let's go ahead and get back. We'll sleep. We'll go check the roller coaster, and then we'll call it a day. So far, everything's kind of progressing, interestingly enough. Uh, pretty, pretty neat. Pretty neat. I do like this map. It's pretty fun. It is a good time. See, these, these kinds of trees right here. These are the ones I want to be planting, because they're massive. Giant sequoias. That's what it is. Once they get really big, I don't know how I'm going to handle grappling them. And cutting them down, honestly. Uh, that flatbed needs to go back to the paper mill. That's where that comes from. I'll probably just be doing that on my on the off time when I'm uh, just getting things prepared for the next next episode. And I need to start using my my little runabout here more. All right, so let's go ahead and go to sleep. We'll see where we're at in the morning with the roller coaster. Okay, so I really didn't get that much property income. From yesterday, it didn't even cover everything that needed that it needed to cover. Let's see how we're going with the production. Make sure all the all the things are have long planks in them. Yeah, long planks is it's just a real problem keeping long planks going. Just long planks are required for everything, it seems. kind of another reason why I was just storing them. I was thinking about just trying to store a bunch of them up and then run around and drop off all the long planks to everywhere that needs them. But let's go check out the roller coaster. Looks like it finished a bit more of it while we slept. Let's hit it like a ramp. Ah, no jumps. Yep, there it is. Wow. Okay. That's gotten a lot taller. Just continually finishing more and more of it. Okay, so... We still need some metal. Which, it's got metal. Floor tiles. I don't know if there's enough floor tiles in there. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, staircase railings, which... Yeah, looks like we're uh, progressing this along quite nicely. And I'm sure by the time next episode comes out, it'll be even further along, because I am going to play till about mid-July mid, mid -July to get it ready for next time. Wow, this is really cool. I can't wait till this is done. I want to I wanna write it. <laughs> I want to write it really bad. I haven't... That is, that is one of the things I haven't checked out yet, is uh, what it looks like when you're riding it. 
I didn't want to spoil it for myself or you guys either, so. <clears throat> so that's all finished up, and yeah. We're going to go ahead and get going now. So thanks for stopping by, checking out Silver Run Forest, and seeing how, my, how I'm progressing along here. And hopefully we'll see you next time. Until then. Have a great day, everybody.